halftime's over. The second half of your trading day begins now. The heavy snow in the east, drought in California. Some say it is the worst drought that state has had in a century. Well, the only real solution, obviously, is steady rain. There is an irrigation effort and an irrigation industry out there. Jane Wells is live in Tulare, California. Hey, Tyler, you know, maybe you can buy one of these fancy new sprinkler heads, but what if you don't have any water to go through it? This is the largest outdoor ag show in the country, 100,000 people expected. Um, you know, at a time where this is the hardest hit area of the drought, the governor is expected here any minute. The president is finally going to be visiting this area on Friday. Farmers here grow about half the nation's produce. They're looking for ways to stretch every gallon of water, better sensors, irrigation, checking out equipment from publicly traded companies like Lindsay, Valmont, and Trimble. Trimble stock up over 10% today on a strong quarter. Netafim is, is an Israeli company that sells drip irrigation systems, which can cut water usage in half, and sales are up double digits in a year. Is drought good for you? Uh, drought is good to a point. When drought drives growers to be concerned about their future, about the ability to have any water at all, that's not a good thing for us or for the industry in general. But when we have uh, a relatively dry year, it can drive some, some increased demand for sure. And with some farmers letting a third of their land go foul here, well drillers and suppliers at the show are complaining of too much work and a fear of running out of parts. Tyler will be back in an hour with the impact on consumers. Back to you. All right, thank you very much. Several companies uh, in this space are public. Uh, Trimble up 9% in the last month since this drought really became a crisis. Lindsay up almost 6%. And there you see Valmont Industries uh, trading lower, Sue, over the past month. Indeed. Well, Ty, there's a lot of 